Good day, good day everyone and once again your favorite uncle is back and this time we're going to looking at solving quadratic equations and now using the what we call the quadratic formula. So if you haven't subscribed please just make sure that you're part of the family and of course uh, you can uh, always get in touch with us uh, on our socials as well as on our website www.nlungesinkosi.co.za we've got more value added services there so you can get in touch with us there now let's get right into our lesson right now we're looking at quadratic equations in our first equa uh, in our first uh, episode rather we look at solving uh, quadratic equations using um you know what we call factorization but sometimes Okay, so you get ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. That's the standard formula for a quadratic equation, right? But now, um, sometimes it works itself out in such a way that you cannot be able to factorize, okay? So what do we do in that case? Now, we use the quadratic formula. I'm going to show you where the quadratic formula comes from uh, in our next episode, right? So the quadratic formula is simply x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Uh, this value under the square root is called the discriminant. We'll talk about that when we do nature of roots. Okay, this is divided by 2a, right? So now what we're going to do is um, it means that a is the coefficient of the x squared term. Uh, b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant term uh, together with its sign, all right? So one of the common mistakes is that when people substitute c, they often forget to uh, include the sign. All right, so what I want us to do very quickly is let's just take an example of how we're going to solve a normal quadratic equation, right? So let's say uh, they've given us 5x squared plus 8x uh, minus 4, okay, I don't know why I wrote there plus, okay, so that's minus 4, okay, is equal to 0, and they say to us, um, you know, uh, solve, or uh, in this case, what they would usually do, you know, uh, something to give you a hint, once they say to you, write down the answer correct to two decimal places, don't even bother, uh, uh, you know, factorizing. Or they say, write down the answer correct to whatever decimal, right? Don't even bother using uh, factorization in that case because it means you can't factorize, right? So it means that in that case, you'd have to use the quadratic formula, right? Now, I want you to look at it, right? So what's our A value? Our A value is positive 5. Our B value is positive 8. And our C value is negative 4. Right? So let's solve for x. So it means that we're going to say, okay, x is minus. Please don't forget to include this negative here. So our b value is positive 8. Okay? And we say plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 8 squared minus 4 times our a value is, uh, we said it's 5. And our C value, we said it is negative 4, right? Divided by 2 times the A value, and our A value is 5, as indicated there. So now, we're going to say, okay, uh, put all of that. Okay, so I'm going to have negative 8 plus minus. Now, if we put that in the calculator, that's going to be 64, uh, 4 times 5, that's 20 times 4, that's 80. So that's going to be 64. Now remember, a negative times a negative, that going, that's going to give us a positive. So this would be 64 plus 80, okay, divided by 2 times 5, that will give us 10. And all we're going to do is put that in the calculator. Um, now if you take 64 plus 80, that will give us 144. Uh, so our answer is negative 8 plus minus. Uh, the square root of 144 is 12, okay, divided by 10. Now let's find the two answers. So it means our first solution will be minus 8 plus 12 over 10 or 
x would be equal to negative 8, negative 12, all over 10. So in this case, um, right, so for the first one, we're going to say, so that's going to be 2 over, uh, yeah, so that's going to give us 4 over 10, um, 4 over 10, or we can say, therefore, the answer is, so when we simplify, uh, 2 goes into 4 2 times and into 10 5 times. So the answer to simplify there, that's going to be 2 over 5. Of course, some of the things that I'm going to take you through, ladies and gents, is, you know, how to simplify fractions. Okay, so uh, the other answer, that's minus 8 minus 12, that's 20 over 10. So in this case, that would be negative 2. So that is how we would use our quadratic formula. Right. And I am um, going to make this one very, very short because, you know, using the quadratic formula is quite straight to the point. So there's really not much that we can do there. Right. So what I want us to do is let's take one. OK, um, where we need to kind of solve first. OK, uh, so which is equal to negative two. All right. Now let's take this one here. So what would we need to do? We need to place it in standard form first. So what I'm going to do is multiply into the bracket. Okay, so 9x multiplied by x, that would give me 9x squared. 9x multiplied by negative 1. Please remember that a positive times a negative will give me a negative. So that's negative 9x, right? And this would be equal to negative 2, of course. To put it in standard form, that's going to be negative 9x. When I take the negative 2 to the other side, it becomes positive 2. So that would be plus 2. And this is equal to 0. There we have it in standard form, right? So what we're going to do is now let's solve using our quadratic formula. So that's minus b plus minus the square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac. Now I'm going to show you something in just a few uh, 2 uh, divided by 2a. So that would be negative uh, minus 9. Okay, so remember that's our b value, that's our a value, and that's our c value, right? So in this case, that would be plus or minus the square root of, right? Our b value, we said it's negative 9 squared minus 4 times. Our a value is 9. And our C value is 2. Okay. Right. And this is all over 2A. Right. So we're going to say negative times a negative. That gives us a positive. So that's going to be 9 plus minus. Okay. So if we take that negative 9 squared. Remember if I put negative uh, in the bracket and I square it. That will give me a uh, positive so that would be 81 okay and then uh, in this case uh, I would say 4 times 9 okay and um, so that would give us 36 right yeah so that would be 36 and uh, multiply that by 2 that would give us uh, 72 okay so that would be plus 72 divided by 2 times our a value uh, we said that's 9 Okay, uh, let me see if we can get our calculator here. Okay, so we've got, uh, right, let me just do this quickly. So that would be 9 plus the square root of, um, so that would be 81 plus 72. Okay, that's 72 all over... Uh, 2 times 9, that would be 18, right? So, in this case, that would be x is equal to 1.89. So, if I put it to two decimal places, all right? So, in this case, remember, if it's to two decimal places, 187, if this number is above 5, it's 5 and above. So, what I do is just add 1 to the next one, right? Uh, to the one next to it. So, that's going to be... 1.19 that's how i put it to two uh, correct to two decimal places okay and of course okay let's just change that a little bit 
um, so that would be a minus there okay so that would be if we subtract there so we've got or x would be negative 0 0.19 can you see also negative uh, 0 0.19 and those are our two values uh, that we get for x okay right so hopefully you are able to get the gist of that okay um now something that i wanted to just simply state is sometimes you may find yourself uh, actually you can just uh, do this for yourself so that's plus minus the square root of delta which we call the discriminant divided by 2a now if you remember that delta in this case is equal to b squared minus 4ac what you can do is first calculate the discriminant okay and then once you find that the discriminant is positive so if the discriminant if delta is greater than zero so then what does it mean therefore it means there is a solution okay but if we find out that delta is less than zero therefore what does it mean it means there's no solution why is that because think about it delta is under a square root so it means that once you get delta to be negative it means that you'd have the square root of a negative number and we know at this stage that uh, you know uh, the square root of a negative number gives us a non-real uh, number so in this case uh, you work out the value of delta. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. So, if we've got 3x squared plus 5x minus 2, which is equal to 0, right? So, again, what's my value of a? It's 3. Value for b is 5. And value for c is negative 2, right? So, first, what I'm going to do, work out the discriminant. So, that's b squared minus 4ac, right? So, that will give me that's 5 squared minus 4 times our a value is positive 3 and our c value is negative 2, right? So in this case, that would be 25 uh, minus again. So we're going to say 4 times 3. Okay, so um, that's going to be 12 times 2, that's 24. So in this case, a negative times a negative would be a positive times a positive. That would give us a positive there. So, uh, sorry, that's going to be 24, sorry. Uh, so, in this case, that's going to be plus 24. And what this gives us is 49, right? So, the delta value gives us 49. So, in this case now, to solve it, so it means there is a solution. I can continue, right? So, x would be minus b plus minus the square root of delta divided by 2a. So, in this case, that's minus or that's negative. Uh, remember, B value is positive 5, so that's minus A positive 5 plus minus the square root of our delta value is 49 divided by 2 times our A value is 3. Okay, so your first solution, that would be negative 5 plus the square root of 49 is 7 divided by 6 or x is equals to negative 5 minus 7 okay divided by 6 and in this case that would give us uh, so that's 2 over 3 right so negative 5 plus 7 remember that if the signs are not the same we subtract and we take the sign of the bigger number so in this case that would be 2 over 6 Again, 2 goes into itself twice, into 6, 3 times, okay? Or, in this case, uh, that's going to be negative 12, right? Negative 5, negative 7. In this case, so negative 5 minus 7 would give us negative 12 uh, over 6. I'm sure you can see how this will give us uh, negative 2 as our answer. So, x is equal to 1 over 3 or x is equal to negative 2. All right, I hope that has been helpful. So that is how we solve for x by using the quadratic formula. Of course, 
I know that uh, as our final, uh, you know, um, way of saying goodbye, I'm going to give you just one last exercise that you're going to give the answer to. Okay, so please solve this for me. 13x uh, plus 6 into x squared plus 1. Uh, this would be equal to 0. Please tell me what you find or what you get as your final answer. Otherwise, from me for now, I will see you guys next time. Shop, shop.